This is how you draw a hot, sad, and problematic character. First is you draw a circle, hot piercing eyes, add thick eyebrows, draw the nose, dot dot. Don't forget to make him emotionless because he is not happy with his life. Also, don't forget to flip the canvas because look, oh my, oh, oh, oh my, oh, oh my god. Long hair for a dude is hot so he has that. Now a scar representing his scarred past. Strands of hair in front of his face is also added because it's hot when men have that. He has horns because his father is a demon. He has halo because his mother is an angel. Hence, he is a secret baby of an angel and demon. Now, let's make a scenario for the clothes. He just got home from school and he is unbuttoning his shirt without removing the tie first because it's hot. Now we give him nice muscles because he is the son of a demon and an angel that gave him a traumatic childhood meaning he's gotta be muscular. Now we add more details to refine his aura. Also, abs! Remember, he is half demon and half angel. He's got to have abs. Also, I forgot to add the wings but we will see later that he has wings. Black wings. Now lower the opacity and make it smaller because we will use it as our reference. Okay, time lapse is boring with all those random music so instead, I'ma tell you the lore surrounding our character. This one's titled problematic Sebastian. Once upon a time, a demon and angel fell in despair brought about by their love for one another. As forbidden by the holy council, one who breaks this law shall perish. Still, knowing fully of the consequence, their love did not waver and soon, they gave birth to a boy named Sebastian. The three of them fled to the free cities of the west to live a life of normalcy. However, both demons and angels worked together to disrupt the life they sought. His parents were assassinated despite being known as one of the greatest among their society. With all the battle, all that was left was Sebastian, clueless, under an invisibility cloak. Dawn has come and all Sebastian saw that morning was a river of blood in which his lifeless mother and father bathed, wingless and hornless. Sebastian, full of grief and anger, followed his father's words with the demon's ritual. When a man's legacy is adorned with blood and loss of life, burn them so as to keep their ambitions burning. He then left the battlefield, leaving nothing in mind but vengeance and his parents' ambition. A hundred and eighty years have passed and Sebastian, despite still looking like eighteen, has made a name for himself as the common people call him the Bastard of Heaven and Hell. He has enrolled in a university renowned for being the farthest from the gods and the threat to the demons, yet despite of that has produced graduates that made an impact throughout the course of history. As for him, living a life of normalcy was not the legacy he learned from his father, but living a life of unending pursuit of contentment. And all of that, his pursuit will be accomplished upon the perish of the gods and the underworld. Of course, this story is BL. <laughs> I mean, he's got nice muscles, a nice look, and a scarred background. It's gotta be BL. The story I mentioned is just a side story. The main story is him and a boy named Helios, a historian by the morning and a painter by the night, who cut off a half of his lifespan to know a quarter of the world's history. Both have a complicated relationship, both have each other's consent when doing a night ritual, and both will not live happily ever after. Or will they? I don't know. But anyway, isn't he hot and sad and problematic? Yes. So yeah, subscribe and like if you find him hot. That's all for today's video, okay? Bye bye